So you've seen it, you've heard it, but what is it? Dry ice blasting. Now, we've been fortunate enough to get two machines from Karsha here. We've got the big boy, which is the IB15, and we've got this new technology, IB10. This machine is quite interesting, actually. It takes CO2 and converts it to dry ice on the unit, where the larger machine, you need to buy dry ice pellets, you top load it, put it in, small three mil style noodles they are, put them in and the machine converts that, spits it out, chops it up, off you go. So where's it fit? Now, dry ice blasting's probably below sand blasting, below vapor blasting, not as aggressive as both of those, to the extent that it won't remove paint. So think of it as a, a detailing or a restoration, meticulous cleaning process. Now, where the dry ice blasting has its advantage is this transmission, for example. Years of grease and grime on this thing. Now, we took this out the front and we used a 4,000 PSI petrol driven high pressure water washer with the intention that ah, this will get it off. Took it out there and we were truly disappointed <laughs> in what it did. So we brought it back in, put it on the bench, got the big dry ice blaster and it removed the grease and grime, the layers of it, basically froze it up as a solid and spat it off to reveal you know, the original casting of it. So we we're actually pretty impressed at you know, what it did. Yes, it was a little bit time consuming, but there's a significant amount of grease on there and the fact that the high pressure water didn't move it at all possibly with a hot water pressure washer which is a different unit now that was a cold water pressure washer but we would have thought the psi would be enough to get it off and it, it just stayed on there but this machine here he can do the whole under carriage of a car he's big you know you need to clean stuff to the extent commercially you see him remove graffiti off bricks all sorts of things now the the new smaller machine, he has his place where he's, for the more delicate stuff or the finite stuff, you can see by the scale of the triggers that they've got here, the smaller one, it's much smaller, it's easy to use. The larger one is two hands, it's gonna push you back in your seat. Now the difference between the large and the small, you can see the differences here. So small detail work and then your larger scale stuff. The smaller machine, it's gonna be ideal for those processes where you might have be manufacturing something like an electrical component and before you solder you know, a component on, you need to give it a, a sterile clean. This machine will do it. You can dial the, I guess, the pressure up through the air regulator and the amount of ice coming out of it, up or down. Fine textiles, detailing, that sort of thing. I think this is gonna solve a lot of problems for a lot of people. Um, in these sort of industries. But if it's industrial cleaning, the bigger unit is you know, what you want, high pressure, maximum force. It'll pull off to restore the undercarriage of a car like we've shown you on multiple things here. To the, not to the extent of removing paint, but poorly put on paint or fatigue paint, it will remove. Now both of these machines will need air supply. You need a lot of air. So this, the smaller machine, is still gonna use a 20 horsepower machine. The larger machine, you're up in the big diesel compressor area. Now you're gonna need something capable of minimum 200 PSI and around 450 CFM. Dry ice blasting, think of it as grease and grime coated on any medium. That's where its strength is to really be able to pull that stuff off. Now crossing over different materials such as your rubber components, your electrical components, aluminiums, steels, paint finishes, the machines can do it all and won't damage it. Now when I say won't damage it, you need to be mindful of how much pressure and, and what it is. I was clumsy enough to run it past the headlining inside that four wheel drive and tore that. So <laughs> you do need to be mindful and careful with it. But as far as in the rear quarter cavities and everything that was dirty, I was able to pull the machine back and basically blast in there. It was almost like steam cleaning it that it brought up all those cavities like new. I don't know how else you'd do it. You'd get in there and try and vacuum it out. You, you wouldn't want to introduce water. You'd cut up your hand trying to get in those areas. You'd load it up with solvents. It'd be real messy. The way I was able to get in there and just blast it out and have it clean like original was like, how good is this? Even on the firewall, on the inside of the firewall where it had a bitumen based sound dampening material, that typically you'd get a hot gun and you try and melt it off or you'd chisel it off, but there'd be residue there. Now we were able to hit it with a dry ice blaster and basically froze it, shock it, and just fell off to reveal the original steel under the firewall. So for those guys that are doing restoration or trying to retain or preserve a, a vehicle, amazing, these machines, these are cool. So we just want to thank Karsha 
for loaning us these two machines. They're definitely something the guys in the car world are gonna want, but whatever industry you're in, you're gonna find a need, a need or a use for the machine, whether it's the larger scale machine or the smaller scale machine. Pros and cons for both. If you've got any question, Karsha. If you're in Australia, it's Karsha Australia. Otherwise, you can reach out to them globally. They'll give you all the information you need, tell you what equipment you need to set them up and get up and running.